in the mountains beyond the pillars. Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and today we're going to be continuing our adventure in Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. I'm beginning here in the uh, Chamber of the Elder God, and one thing that I noticed is he says a different uh, message when you go on this thing here. The canyons beyond the pillars expose an ancient blasphemy. Having devoured Zephon's soul, you may now gain entrance where your path was formerly blocked. There we go. In this video, we'll be taking on Rahab. And in case you're wondering, in the previous video, we took on Zephon. And what you can do is you can exit Zephon's lair and take the warp uh, take the warp gate from there. Or you can just save and quit the game to begin here. And this is the first place that we want to go. Because we want to go back to the Sanctuary of the Clans in order to access the new area. And along the way, we'll be gaining an ability for the Soul Reaver. Probably the most useful ability in the game. Simply avoid this guy. Once we have that ability, defeating enemies will become a lot easier. Okay, avoid this guy. Now, just for fun, I'll go to the left instead of the right. It doesn't matter which way you go. Both of them lead to the same place. Okay, here we are, back at the Pillars of Nosgoth. Why not uh, talk to Ariel just for fun? Like a corpse in a shallow grave, corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. Okay, thanks, Ariel. Now we'll go ahead and climb the wall. This music that's playing it right now is some of my favorite music in the game. When I think of Soul Reaver, this is the music that I think of. However, it's very short-lived for this section. Yeah, there we go, it's already transitioning. At this point, it doesn't matter which way we go. We could go left, we could go right, and they both lead to the same area. Which makes me wonder why there are two paths anyway. place that we're about to enter is full of plot. The ancient tomb of the Seraphim, once impenetrably sealed, now ravaged by Nosgoth's upheavals, its mysteries lay exposed. In the time of Vorador, centuries before Cain was made, 
the Seraphim warrior priests waged a merciless war against the vampire tribes of Nosgoth. Emboldened by righteousness, they committed unspeakable and indiscriminate acts of violence, massacring fledglings and ancients alike. They decimated entire bloodlines in mere decades. Now their husks lay here, murderers enshrined. Okay, we want to go in there. Once we're in there, we'll get some more plot. Because plot is good. Okay, why didn't I phase through? There we go. That was weird. Take heed, Raziel. A forgotten history lies within. Know thyself. Though it may destroy you. Oh, I'll be fine, Elder God. I'm sure there's nothing I can learn that would destroy me. After all, I'm the Soul Reaver. Get out of my way. Okay, all we do, gotta do is move this block out of the way here. As I pulled the stone free, a sigh of sepulchral air escaped the inner chamber. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. What could it be? Bum, bum, bum. These crypts, defiled caskets of seraphim saints, bearing my brother's names and my own. The irony of Cain's blasphemous act rushed in on me with the crushing force of revelation. Were my hands not as bloody as these? Worse, I had spilled the blood of my brothers, these very comrades whose tombs lay ravaged before me. Yes, Raziel, you were a Seraphan, born of the same force that all but destroyed your race. Before the dawn of the Empire, you were chosen. Cain, Nosgoth's solitary self-declared monarch, plundered this tomb and raised you from these crypts. Breathing his vampiric gift into your defiled corpses, he resurrected you as his favored sons. Okay, time to go through the floor. Whee. And this is where we'll be learning the ability for the Soul Reaver. And we'll also get a little bit more plot. Such loyalty to one who has you guarding this outpost like a chained dog. Do you prosper on the scraps he casts you? Your insults will do nothing to blunt the agonies of your demise. Cain killed me once. Behold the result. I have no more to fear from you. Okay, this guy can shoot projectiles, however he is not very difficult to defeat, and once he is defeated, we will get full health. 
There we go, into the water with you. This relic has infused you with the power to compress and manipulate space. As your symbiotic weapon, the Soul Reaver is also thus enhanced. You may focus and project an orb of kinetic energy to strike objects that are otherwise beyond your reach. Okay, now we've learned the ways of the Force, and we must use our Force Beam to move these uh, blocks out of the way. Eventually. Not sure why it wasn't having an effect there. Use the Force, Soul Reaver. The Force will be with you, always. Yep, the force is very, very useful. This is what makes defeating enemies much, much easier. Because you don't have to go directly up to them. Okay, I'll go back here and use the force, use the force, use the force. There we go. Get full health. Now we're getting to a section of some precision platforming. Precision platforming is a little bit difficult in Soul Reaver. I did have a chance to play through this section before I started recording to see how long it would take me to get through. And I did uh, fall a whole bunch of times, which was unfortunate. So hopefully I'll be able to make this uh, in one trip. We're also going to come up to one of the points, which is uh, my favorite graphically in the game. I actually have a lot of favorite sections, but the next section coming up is really uh, visually interesting, I find. And I am going directly to where I need to go. There are a few distractions that I could be going for, but uh, I'm just going directly to Rahab. Okay, we want to use the force, make these guys go away. There we go. And uh, push this thing towards the wall. I think that's as far as it needs to go, so I'm just going to go back into the Spectral Realm. Okay, and uh, can actually use the Force against this guy. I'm not sure why I was trying to do that. against these guys. Haha, <laughs> take that. Okay, here we go. There's a cool ship there. I really like this ship. I is the by that builds the boat, and I is the by that sails her. I is the by that catches a fish and takes them home to Lyser. And there we go, that's all we get to see of that boat. Goodbye, boat. Now I can activate 
yet another warp gate here, which is completely optional, but I've been triggering them all so far. Why not this one? I do find it difficult to remember the uh, different symbols for each warp gate. It does make it a little bit confusing. door with the force. I said with the force. I said with the force. There we go. Plot time. Once a sanctuary against the vampire menace, this abbey has been drowned by the deluge spilling from this wounded land. Your brother Rahab and his brood, devastated even by the feeble rays of Nazgoth's sun, overcame their vulnerability to water and retreated from the surface. Now they haunt these ruins and glide in the darkness of its stagnant depths. Now this is where crouch walking comes in very handy really don't want to fall into the water here because backtracking is not fun takes a long time it's very disorienting so you want to be very careful here there's also an enemy coming up want to use the force against this enemy way over there use the force use the force okay get rid of him because he can give you a lot of trouble. Also, there's an enemy through this door. Immediately use the force. Take that. There we go. Avoid the projectiles as best as possible. Oh, he got me. That's fine. I believe there's some water coming up. So it doesn't matter. Don't have to have full health. No nope. platforming. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, well, that's fine. At least this uh, part is easy to get back up. Platforming can be a little bit difficult when the uh, camera is not cooperative because you want to be able to see Raziel's shadow on the blocks that you jump to. If you can't see that, it's very difficult to judge where to jump. There's an enemy way over there. I want to use the force against him just to make sure that he doesn't uh, hit Raziel back into the water there. It's very fortunate I didn't fall in the water. I almost did. Okay, I want to avoid these guys. Okay, 
Okay, that's fine. I don't need full health. There's the water. And for some reason, the camera rotated around there. Use the force against these guys. Now, this is the part of the level or the game where platforming is really difficult. There's a lot of precision platforming and hopefully I'll be able to make it through. When I attempted this off camera, I was not fortunate. Kept falling. And the reason for that was because of the camera. Okay, and we're back. Going to try to make some precision jumping yet again. Which, as I mentioned, is extremely difficult. Especially this section. I've been having a very difficult time making these jumps. Especially for recording purposes. There we go. Okay, finally. Now the precision jumping is not done yet. To break this window and do some more precision jumping. Getting across these gargoyles can be a bit of a chore. At least the uh, camera is a little bit more cooperative in this section. Again, I'm doing crouch jumping so that I don't, or crouch walking, I should say, to avoid falling off the edge. For whom the bell tolls. Eventually, that's going to reveal a staircase. And open a door. Or maybe the staircase was always there. Now once we gain the ability, water won't be so much of a challenge anymore. In fact, it will cease to be a challenge. And uh, frame rate got a little weird there. That's okay, I guess. It only lasts for a very short period of time. Okay, now that we're here, we just have to make our way across these pillars. And Rahab is very easy. It does not present too much of a challenge. Except for going up the pillars, of course, because jumping. I think platforming is probably the most difficult part of Soul Reaver. Could be. The enemies definitely aren't too much of a challenge. Here we go. It is plot time. Do 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 do. Rahab, you have adapted well to your environment, for one so maladjusted. 
Do not mock me, Raziel. You of all of us should respect the power bestowed by a limitation overcome. Cain said you would come. You speak with the murderer? You would do well to mind your blasphemous tongue. What more did he tell you? That you would destroy me. I will indeed. But tell me, before I tear your soul from its moorings, do you know what we were before Cain spawned us? Human. Seraphan Rahab, the antithesis of all we ever believed. Does it matter? We were lost. He saved us. Saved us? From what? From ourselves. Okay, what we want to do is just destroy all of these windows with the force power. And uh, try to do it as quickly as possible. Aiming can be a little bit difficult. With any luck, I'll be able to do this in one try. However, given that I'm recording, I don't know. I've been having some bad luck with getting things to happen properly. Such as aiming. One more window. No, aiming, aiming. There we go. soul, you have overcome your former vulnerability to water's touch. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body, enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Okay, there we go. We've gotten the ability to swim from devouring Rahab's soul. At this point, I'll go ahead and end the video. In the next video, we'll start off at exactly this spot and continue from there. So with that, thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time.